but the priority is to be delivered on its principles and vision. There's a list of activities that can best be described as business as usual, and at best, as regular statements devoid of any meaning outside of the town hall. For example, we have continued to develop, support, and encourage the creation of accessibility to jobs through providing a supportive and enabling environment. So what does that mean? We also have maximized the impact of our public health leadership world, but it doesn't say how. And finally, we have established a leadership academy to develop capacity and drive change. Mr. Mayor, a leadership academy, and that should do it. I can see now the East West inequalities crumbling before my eyes with all the capacity that will have been developed by such an academy. I know I'm being selective in picking out the worst examples of management speaking the document. But I ask, does it on the whole pass the accessibility test? And the answer is surely no. It remains an inward looking document. The corporate plan should contain shared vision with all public and private sector partners. And I know I'm to be told that this is a living document and that one is learning or takes the wall or women to eat or whatever. But there are no detailed targets and action plans uh, for us to consider. But well, Mr. Mayor, I don't want to finish on a negative note. Uh, so let me finish by praising uh, Councillor Phil Davis. In his introduction to the plan, he delivers a statement with the utmost vision. I refer him to page nine, he's already referred to himself, where he tells us that he wants to extend the living wage to our contractors and eventually wants all of our employers to adopt the standard so that we'll become the living wage for it. I support that. Indeed, I have such a vision incorporated into a motion back in July 2011, which instructed officers... I, I, I just want to praise the leader of the that amendment back in July 2011 instructed officers to make arrangements to bring those council employees earning below the living wage up to living wage levels, and that contractors supplying public services are also asked to ensure that they pay a living wage. That was agreed in all corners of this council chamber two and a half years ago. The first part was done, except by some intervention by uh, the then leader of the council. The second half was ignored completely. So, excited with that statement, I read, the leaders, uh, I read uh, through the plan page after page. But the aspiration has disappeared. No further mention uh, in any of the sections of the corporate plan on how we were actually going to achieve becoming a living wage poor. I also looked in vain for 20 mile an hour zones to protect vulnerable uh, road users. I looked in vain for a commitment to pay invoices within, within acceptable limits. And in vain for the role of selective licensing in private sector housing review or for any mention of financial exclusion. All issues in the last 12 months that I have brought to this council chamber in the form of a notice of motion and have achieved support from all sides. Of the but not a thing in the plan. This settled my view, Mr. Mayor, of the plan of one of disappointment and of missed opportunity.